So, what is the aloha? So, the aloha is one of the one of the multiple access technique. Okay, so random multiple access, and that was first discussed in 1970 by University of Hawaii. So, what is the meaning of random access? So, for example, there are n number of independent user. So, independent user means that they don't have any control over each other. They can transmit anytime, and they have to share over the single channel. Okay, so that is a concept of your uh, of your multiple access, and then what will happen if they will transmit the data independently then there will be some kind of packet collision okay so take an example for example a is sending the uh, data for example uh, two packets and b also you know he is also trying to send uh, his own packets and then what will happen if there are some kind of collision so it is obvious like you know there must be some kind of collision so if there is a collision then you have to do the retransmit and if there is no collision so it means that the packet has been delivered successfully okay so that is the that is a concept of your packet collision now as we know that you know if there is some kind of packet collision then you have to do the retransmit right so the aloha so let us discuss about what is the aloha algorithm right so first we'll start with with any any user so that is the start and then you have to you have to transmit the data and then what will happen you have to wait for it for some amount of time okay to to get the acknowledgement and when you get the acknowledgement if it is i mean if you can get the acknowledgement successfully then if it is success and then if you don't get the acknowledgement then it means that you have to do the retransmit so for the retransmit you have to wait some sort of time so we can call it as a back of time now this process cannot cannot you know continue uh, unlimited amount of time so there we have to put some kind of limit for example k equals to zero and each time we can increase the counter k k equals to k plus one and we have to we have to fix a maximum number that is k uh, less than k max if it is yes then you have to do the about if it is no then you will continue that and since it the back of time there is a random number so what will be the random number so for example we, we can say that that random number is equals to 0 2 to the and 0 to 2 to the power k minus 1 and the back of time will be r multiplied by tp so tp is your propagation time okay and basically if you're talking about some kind of uh, some kind of you know uh, wait time 2 into tp so that is your round trip time.